Yo, what's up man? Armory Channel here. Uh, last, uh, this is the last of my handguns. After this review, uh, my videos will be all caught up. Then after I do that, I'm going to do cleaning videos, disassembly videos. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would love some requests. You know, if anyone can come up with some ideas, I'd appreciate it. Because uh, requests are great, because then it helps me come up with more things to do. Um, this, oh, another movie recommendation. This is an older movie, but it's really good. Okay, this is good. This is a good movie. This is Sean Penn and uh, Robert Duvall. It's called Colors. It's about uh, another movie that ain't real popular that not too many people know about. Uh, Sean Penn is a uh, a rookie cop, and he tries to be a badass, you know. And then uh, Robert Duvall is a veteran, you know, an older cop with more experience. And he's trying to train Sean Penn, but Sean Penn just wants to kick everyone's ass. So he starts uh, having the gangs of L.A. start to hate him, and they're out for him. It's good, man. A lot of nice guns, a lot of cool guns are in it. Uh, it's funny, it's funny, if you look at the movie, uh, the cops are carrying big fucking revolvers. How awkward is that, if you're a cop to carry a big revolver? Uh, the only automatics you see, really, are, are the Beretta, I think, and you'll see a couple other ones. Uh, I don't know if Glocks were even out yet when this movie came out. 1988, yeah, Glocks were real new to the world, so you know, I don't think you're going to see any Glocks in the movie. <clears throat> but pick this up, check it out. You know, there's nothing on TV, which there never is. This is my Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan. Uh, it's a 454 caliber. Also shoots 45 long coal. This is a hungry man. This is a big motherfucker. Uh, uh, do I use it for home protection? Yeah, why not? Why? Because it shoots 45 long colt, and 45 long colt is a, is a fine round for home protection. There's nothing wrong with that. Would I use a 454 for home protection? Fuck no, not around here. Uh, if I lived out on a fucking barn or out in the fucking woods, yeah, yeah, I'd use a 454 for home protection. Why not? But I got neighbors and shit, and a 454 is a very, very powerful round. Uh, we're going to check it for safety. We're going to open uh, the loading gate here. And it's empty. Uh, how's the machine work quality? It's good. It's good. Is it excellent? Well, I don't know. Almost. Almost. You know, I love Rugers, but when it comes to when it comes to revolvers, when it comes to revolvers, as far as machining, machine work, I have to give it to Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson revolvers, the machine work is excellent. Excellent. Uh, the machine work on this gun is good. It's good. Is it awesome? No. It's not awesome. But it's good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, how can you tell? Well, easy. Just look at the cutouts. You know, I'm looking at the cutout, and right here, there's something happening here. It's not perfect, you know. And here, here this area here, uh, this little notch, so the so the uh, cylinder can pass through to lock up this cutout here. It's a little rough looking. Um, it's brushed stainless steel, so you can see all the brush marks, which it's supposed to be like that. Uh, the stamping. Uh, the top of the the top of the paragraph is uh, more shallow than the bottom of the paragraph. You know, if you want to get real technical and you're a real gun freak like me, but it's beautiful. I mean, look at it. It is a Ruger. Ruger makes Ruger makes nice firearms, and uh, the machine works beautiful here on the muzzle. Excellent. But there's parts of it where it isn't. Uh, I like the grip. It's real big. It should be. 
and uh, that's what I like. Uh, that's why I took it over to Smith and Wesson because it had a bigger grip. The Smith and Wesson uh, sells a similar uh, revolver like this, but the grip's real small and the gun's real, you know, forward heavy. I don't like that. This is a nice big grip. It's very balanced. It's very comfortable. It's a beautiful pistol. All right. Uh, I love the non-fluted barrel. It's something I've always wanted. Uh, I don't. I don't like the fluted in the barrel. I know 90% of revolvers have that. That's why I got this. I'm like, oh, they got, it's got a non-fluted barrel. You know, I love it. I'm gonna get it. It just gives it a stronger look. I think it's a better looking design. It's a six shot. You would think it'd be a five shot to such a big caliber, but it's not. It's a six. Here's the uh, 454 rounds. What they look like. See. All right, and I'll show you the uh, 45 long colt next to that. Now I can't use uh, I can't use this for home protection yet because. I don't have 45 long cold hollow points, they're just regular, you know, lead bullets. Right here, see the difference in, in the uh, length? Things are about a full over, well, a full quarter inch longer than the long cold. It's bigger, this is so much bigger. That's the long cold. There's the uh, 454. And uh, the 454, uh, this is a 240 grain bullet here. Okay. And the uh, 45 long Colt is uh, 250 grain. And this is probably this is probably lighter because it's hollowed out. This is a solid bullet here. Okay. And this is hollowed out and tapered. But the velocity. Is a lot more powerful. See, it's it's longer. That means it has more gunpowder in it. That means it shoots further and more and uh, faster, more powerful. That's for hunting bear and shit like that. That's what that shit's for. But like I said, if you live in an open range, you know, you can use it for uh, home protection. Definitely. Uh, did I show you the movie? I showed you the movie. But that's all you can say. I mean, revolvers. I mean that's why I don't have a lot of revolvers. They're they're not they're, they're really not much fun until you shoot them. They're fun to shoot, but they're not fun to do reviews on. Look, I'm done already. What else can I tell you about it? It has it has a rear adjustable sight. It has a front fixed sight. Now fixed means it's permanent. Fixed means it's on there permanently. You can't remove it. You can't replace it. Uh, you can't adjust it. It's just there. It's on there, and that's the end of it. Okay, now the rear sight is adjustable. It can go up and down, side to side. Uh, it has nice checkering on the hammer. Okay, it has a safety plate near in case the gun falls down and hits the hammer by accident, which I don't like because the thing sounds like a fucking maraca, you know. But you know, it's all these fucking safety fucks, man, that they make them do all this crazy shit to these guns, you know. All these it's, it's, it's all this overkill and unnecessary dumb safety shit, you know what I mean? I just think it is. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that, that plate in there. See it? See it? You hear it? Who the What the hell? It's just, this is a $900 gun. No one wants to hear that. They should come up with something else. You know, it's a good idea, but come up with something else. The gun shouldn't make noise. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and whine about it, but I already did, right? Well, Ruger Alaskan, 454. Big hungry boy. I call it Hellboy because it's huge. Big, powerful uh, revolver. It's the only revolver I'll get. It's probably the only revolver I'll ever have. Alright, man.